Kaleta. God is looking for a voice in everywhere we find ourselves. A chairman of a company that will not take advantage of laborers. A voice. Employer who will not take bribe from the employee. A voice. A bank manager who will not approve loan with 15% before you pay the interest. A voice. An accountant in a company who will not give you a receipt and you pay a different amount. A voice. John said, I am the voice. I pray that you will be the voice of God. I say that you will be the voice of God. In a rotten world, be a voice. In a sick world, be a voice. In a suffering world, be a voice. In NTA, be a voice. In BBSTB, be a voice. In Observer, be a voice. In Local Job, be a voice. Anywhere you find yourself, be the voice of righteousness shouting against iniquity. People are going to time you. They are going to say you are going to die. But thank God to live is Christ and to die is gain. When we serve God faithfully as a voice, when we serve God faithfully as ambassador and ambassadresses of God, when we serve God in humility and dedication, when we serve God with devotion and commitment, when the world twists and turn, we stand. When market fall, we rise. When everything we lean on lose power, the greater one still dwells in our hearts. John answered the question that many Christians cannot answer today. Who are thou? I am the voice. Where there is darkness, I am the voice of light. Where there is hunger, I am the voice of feeding. Where there is lack, I am the voice of supply. Where there's sorrow, I'm the voice of joy. Where there's defeat, I'm the voice of victory. Where there's lack, I'm the voice of supply. Where there's downcast, I'm the voice of lipman. Where there's nothing, I'm the voice of something. I'm the voice of the Most High. I want to pray for you today that God will make you a voice.